So we'll say that we've arrived, JD. Mm-hmm. We're back on track. Are we? Uh, well, I have arrived, yes. <laughs> you may be, but I'm not. Oh, dear, it's all on. Sorry, but uh, this is all on um, auto repeat. Is it? Well, that's I that's not that's that. not no. good. I don't know like that. No, 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 no. 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 We're, no. We're, we're, no we're losing we're losing um, influence. I won't I won't say control. We've lost it anyway. Whatever it was, JD. Listen, um, tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah, Saturday. Friday. Oh, Friday. Okay, Friday. Friday. I'm, miss, I'm missing Friday out. No, Friday's still to come. <laughs> the like minds. Right. Are going to be in Exeter. Right. Okay. They they're going to meet at the castle. Right. And it's all about. Well, I think it's social media and promotion. Right. Okay. But it covers lots of different things. Yeah. And I think it's it's an opportunity for us to look at um, learning and maybe the MOOC, mm -hmm. that sort of end of things. But how that relates to the university and and the city. Because mm -hmm. we have to talked about that before. So for new listeners, the the MOOC is online learning. Yes, and we've 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 more or less come to terms with it. We thought it was a bit strange to start with, but we can see the point of it. Mm -hmm. And it it sort of raises the question really why we need the campus and all these buildings and the student accommodation. Of course, we're not at all sure about that. And so we've had that conversation, mm -hmm. but. Also, the conversation of why, why if if the students are going to going to live in the city, why they don't study in the city as well, or what sort of knowledge exists? Yes, this is something floating in the air, and might land somewhere. <laughs> but yes, I I just don't get grips of why why we have so many people in such a small area. Just think, we won't be able to get into the coffee shops. Oh, there will that's be, it. There will be we have to book. <laughs> yes, we have to book a table. <laughs> you think it's going to be a booking system? A for booking the system, shop. yes, online booking system. So you to get into your favourite coffee venue. Well, yeah, that's all right. But if there's if there's coffee, if there's seminar rooms, mm, yeah, this is around the campus, yes, or small offices where mm. the academics live, mm. with a couple of chairs. Mm -hmm. Um, they could carry on building more and more of those in big blocks. Yeah. Or they could come to the coffee shops as well. We could just have more coffee shops. Yes, if there are coffee shops within the within the uh, flats and everything, that's fine. But well, the flats are built above the coffee shops, aren't they? I mean, they, they all seem to have... Uh, I don't know if, the, if all that space has been allocated yet. That's been lazy. Oh. Because you just go from your bed straight to the coffee shop and up again and back up to bed again. <laughs> and, and with... Um, luxury broadband mm. and widescreen televisions and everything so mm. why do you need to be near the campus anyway mm. but nah. um, anyway we, we we grumble on in this sort of way we grumble yes <laughs> that's a new program <laughs> we're grumbling on we grumble on well look I'm going to introduce a positive note here. okay then um, Set Squared mm -hmm. which, which is an incubator they support new business ideas, um, mostly from graduates, but they seem to be um, a bit more outward going than we've assumed. Mm. We may just have a totally false mm. impression of what mm. campus university is like anyway. But anyway, let, let's let's just add. We this. we need a, we need to interview somebody who's either part of the campus department and what you know what was their vision. I think we we got a so very biased. <laughs> A view of these big concrete things being built, and what's going to happen inside it. We may be wrong, in fact. Yes, we do, we need some down to earth information. I think before we can criticise any further. I think. Okay. Well, well, mm. well, well, well look, what we'll try and do. Set squared are going to be there, mm -hmm. and they're they're a network. Mm. And that's one of the things which I think is positive that they're connected with. I think it's Bath and Bristol somewhere else mm. I think it even goes into Wales a little bit mm -hmm. um, but and they're, they're, and they're turning up at this event which is in mm. the city so that and right. they're going to talk about um, new employment opportunities new technology stuff mm. and how the university can support that mm. so all of, all of that seems positive mm -hmm. so perhaps I'll ask them I'll, yes. sa I'll say to them yes um, we're not far away <laughs> <laughs> um, well, we're not here on a Friday because no. <laughs> um, we've got other things to do on a Friday. Yeah. 
but if they if they're passing by again on well, let's say on a Wednesday because the, mm. the we don't know show mm. we could crash into that one as well. Mm. Well, there may be other people. If there's other people from Phonic mm. listening at the moment, well, you could take your um, trusty machine down and go and do an interview with somebody. I uh, can try and do yes, an interview along yes. these lines. You just need somebody to outline what is happening. There it is. What, the big what, question: what, what is happening? What is happening? And why is it happening? And what else could happen? Yes. <laughs> what, what else yes, could happen? Yes, do I need a lie down? <laughs> well, I noticed, um, I saw in the newspaper, in, in Wolverhampton, mm. there's a university in Wolverhampton, mm. and that is in pretty much in the, in the city already. Yes. But the House of Fraser uh, has closed down, mm. their building, but it's the, um, the university's going to buy it, but they're going to have a mixture of lecture spaces and student accommodation. Mm. Whereas I think the, uh, the House of Fraser bit in Exeter mm. is going to be a hotel. Is that, is that right? Yes, that right? it's going to be... Uh, well, it's not. It's accommodation, should we say. That's what's in the pipelines. Oh. That's what my brother's heard as well. Um, that and some mini shops downstairs or something. Oh. I, I have no oh. idea. I, oh. know, I know he's here. He's, he's here. Yes, oh, I know got, he's here. You, yes, he's, he's waving at us. <laughs> yeah, that ma the man. Yes, waving. Okay. Well, look, uh, look. I'll play another. I'll play another tune. Yes. Um, this uh, and you, you let you let him in. I'll just mm. explain. This is uh, Raphael Sadiq, uh, Jimmy Lee, and the, one of the things we want to talk about um, with the the like minds people is is how you convert a hashtag into ticket sales. Um, well, or Jimmy Lee is interesting because there's many things come up. Aretha keeps coming up with that hashtag. That's the problem with that one. And then Hang Massive. We want to promote the Hang Massive hashtag. <laughs> um, and then how do we how how do we sell tickets? Somebody <laughs> at Light Minds will know this. But uh, anyway, this this is the this is around the Jimmy Jimmy Lee hashtag. Raphael Sadiq. <laughs> 